Howdy, hello, Allison Chainmail here, and I'm I'm back with some more hair stuff. If you're here from my previous videos, Overtone, and I guess Ion, that was kind of a goof review, then I've got another uh, red hair product. I wanted to show you guys a red hair product that I stan. Is that right? Is that how you? I don't know, that I really like. I found this after I tried Overtone. I was not a fan of Overtone. I think there was a lot of misadvertising. How could you do this to me? I think they've changed their product formula or branding or whatever. They've changed things since that video a few years yonder in the past. But since then, I have found a product that basically did everything that Overtone wanted to be at the time. That's my opinion! And that product is, drumroll, please. Enrage. Intense red color depositing shampoo and conditioner three in one system. So this is a shampoo, conditioner, and color deposit. So you just use it instead of washing your hair with other products and it is fantastic. I'm not sponsored by them, although I would really like that because I really actually like this product a lot. It is something that I have started using basically instead of dyeing my hair with manic panic all the time, which I have clearly given up upkeep this last year, I've really just like not bothered with my hair. I haven't minded this like rose gold blonde type deal that it keeps fading out to, but this is kind of what I've been doing instead of going full out and dyeing my hair, which as you can see, I've got like a ton of roots. So that is not going to be corrected. It is not going to hold as well on those roots because usually you have to kind of like damage them for them, I guess, to become porous enough to hold the dye. I don't really know the science of it. Welcome to physics. So this product actually does quite a bit to bump up the redness if you like bright red hair. I kind of thought it was nearly equivalent, given what it is, to using Manic Panic as a touch-up. Whenever I use it, people are like, oh, did you dye your hair? Did you do your hair recently? And I'm like, no, I just washed it, guys. I mean, I get complimented all the time. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but this is a product I really like. I have been buying it ever since. I just really like this and I think more people should know about it. I've tried other products. My sister tried that. I'll just do it before and after because that was mostly a goof review. I think Ion is comparable to this. It seemed to be even more pigmented than this one, which is cool, but this is kind of relaxed. It smells great. It smells like bubblegum or bananas or both, bubblegum banana. It smells like bubblegum. I don't know why I thought it was bananas in the past. I've got a weird sniffer, but I'm just gonna kind of do a before and after video of me washing it. It's like just washing your hair. It's, it's plain and simple. In case none of you know how to wash your hair, here it is. This is the before, it's kind of faded out. I don't think I did any kind of dyeing this last year. Possibly did it before Comic-Con, but I really don't remember. So this is all just left over. This is what my hair looks like right now. It is pretty faded. There are some streaks of darker tones. It's been dyed red multiple times by various products. I usually kind of stick with Ion Intense Reds or Blonde Reds, Manic Pan rock and roll and pillar box and it's been a long time since I've actually used those but that is what is going to be remaining in my hair ion demi permanent semi permanent and manic panic which is a semi permanent so it's faded out quite a bit I haven't used this product in a while I've actually been using really bad shampoo and conditioners because I was pretty broke this last year I've been using like head and shoulders and, and I don't even think it was head and shoulders I think it just was branded to look like head and shoulders Normally I use like paraben free shampoos and stuff to keep the dye. I've just been using whatever I can put in my hair. So this is the result of that. Still a piece of garbage. I'm kind of hoping to change up my look soon. So I wanted to get this out of the way. I might go black and red like Harley Quinn soon. <laughs> Anything else for you today, boys? Okay, so we're going to basically just wash our hair with this. I believe the directions say leave it in for about 10 minutes. It says maybe left in for three to five minutes. Longer than 10 minutes will deliver maximum color deposit. So I usually do about 10, 15 minutes. I have a massive amount of hair, so I usually have to use quite a bit of this product to make sure it's all over. And then I just kind of throw it up into a shower cap and then uh, let it sit for a while and sing songs in the shower or tend to other things on my body, whatever. This product can dye your shower a bit, so be cautious. 
So yeah, I'm gonna give this a go. I'll put it in for about 10 minutes and then we're gonna see the results. All right, here we are. So I think I might have done a little bit longer than 10 minutes because I got a little carried away singing. But um, yeah, so this is the after. I think it looks a lot brighter on camera, honestly, but it is pretty red. There are some like, some little spots that did not take as well, but that's probably because my hair was just different all over anyway. I put on some makeup too. Try not to let that distract you. But yeah, the hair is significantly redder. It's a nice little touch up for not having to dye it and just having to wash your hair. Harley. <laughs> Can you come lay down? Jesus. <laughs> I think it gets the job done pretty well. I think this is pretty much everything that Overtone tried to claim it was. I can't believe you've done this. I probably could have used a bit cooler water. I'm, I'm pretty sure my water was more than lukewarm rinsing it out because I just, I don't care anymore. Obviously you're gonna have better results if you use cold water with any kind of dyed hair. My hair smells like bubblegum now. I think the ion probably is a little bit more pigmented based off of my sister's results, but honestly, I'm pretty happy with this. I'm in the like, I don't really give a phase of my hair and I think it did what I needed it to, you know? Like it's redder, significantly redder. But yeah, this product's great. It's great for me because I'm, I'm pretty like, lazy and tomboyish about things. So uh, this product uh, lets me be lazy. Thanks for watching. Check out some of the other videos. The Ion one is a little bit silly, I admit, but you can see the before and after if you are just looking for the bare essentials of, uh, you know, getting to the point or whatever. Bitch wear. The overtone is pretty old, a little bit outdated, but I still just don't agree with that product based off of deceptive marketing tactics. Why, why? And yeah, I think this product is great, so. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Keep it nice. I know you all think you're fucking hair experts, but I am not and I don't give a shit. And this product is great for that. So if you are like that, then welcome and try it out. I'll put some links down below on where you can get it. I get mine from Sally's usually. Subscribe if you want more hair stuff and let me know with likes and such because I will make more hair content if that is what you like. I will do it. Have a wonderful day. Stay red, stay, I don't know, stay whatever you are. Just have fun, have a good time, and enjoy your hair. I will catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs> That's stupid, I know. <laughs>